Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Got this boiler here, this Hamworthy Module Max OS6220 in fault code E151. Gonna do a few checks. What's happening is it's, let's reset it first. It's gonna attempt to start up, but fell. So, we have here the fan motor starting up, but the unit is not even going to attempt to light. Uh, the fan is running, I'm not sure if you can hear it. Yep, it's failed to, light, failed to even attempt to light. So initially you would think PCB, I mean not PCB, you'd think um, fan problem, but the fan's running. So why isn't it attempted to light? Or is it not identifying that the fan's running? But if we go a bit, delve a bit deeper, so we've got fault 151, and then we're gonna check the secondary fault code. Okay, to find the secondary fault code, what we need to do is press I, then up and down for four seconds. One, two, three, four. And here's our secondary code. Our secondary code states that we have an open circuit. So what's happening is when the PCB is going through its checks, this LMU, our LMU 64, and our LMU 64 here is going through its checks. One of the circuits are not closing. It's an open circuit is on there when it should be a closed circuit. So that's probably gonna happen for a while. When you reset, there'll come a point where you can no longer reset the unit. So the board is wearing out, it's about nine years old. So I'm gonna take the PCB, I'm gonna take this PCB off another board nearby, which isn't really being used at the moment. It's just here on standby waiting for parts. I'm gonna use this board and pull it in the other unit so that we can have another boiler working okay I'm gonna show you this boiler operating once we change the PCB or the LMU okay this is the 40 board 40 LMU I'm taking out the grooves stop it from going in the wrong way around see the different different grooves on these so, so i like about these that it's very difficult to get them the wrong way around because you have these grommets that stop them from going in the wrong way also i have a one installed down here which i can go by as well okay then um once you get everything in ensure that everything is in have a little feel around, touch wires, don't be shy, don't be shy with it, make sure everything is in and then once you're sure that everything is in then turn the power on. Okay, until next time, bye bye bye.